If you're wondering what to do with those whole boiled greens to give them a little bit more pizzazz, make them more family friendly, this is the recipe for you. What we'll be doing is sauteing onions with garlic, herbs, and spices, and a little sea salt or tamari soy sauce. And that will bring out a lot more flavor in the greens. Adding sauteed onions helps to sweeten greens, balance the bitterness, and make them more interesting. Here's what you need for the recipe. You need two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, clarified butter, or ghee. You need one small to medium onion, finely chopped. You can add it to the pan and stir. If the onions are sizzling, turn the heat down just a little bit. And if you want to reduce the amount of stirring you have to do, you can actually add your tamari or your sea salt right now. And then cover the pot. After you've covered the pot, make sure you turn the heat down to low or medium low to keep the onions from sticking and burning. Now you want to make sure to have ready two or three cloves of minced or pressed garlic, one and a half teaspoons of dried herbs or spices. I have one half teaspoon of dry mustard here and a teaspoon of dried sage. You could use sage and thyme, thyme and marjoram, or maybe you want to use all mustard or cumin. I usually use one two or three herbs or spices in the recipe. You also want to have a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, white pepper, or red pepper. Periodically, check the onions to see how they're doing. You want them to caramelize, and I do want to mention you don't absolutely have to cover the onions, but if the onions and the aroma from the onions is burning your eyes, or you want to be able to work on other dishes and not have to pay as much attention to the onions, you can cover them and turn the heat down while they're cooking. So have all of your ingredients ready. The other key ingredient here is whole boiled greens. So we started out with two pounds of kale, uncooked kale with the stems. After we stemmed it and cooked it, it cooked down to between two and three cups. We did the same thing with the collards, and this actually started out as two pounds of collard greens. After I removed the stems, boiled them for five to seven minutes, cooled them in ice water and drained them, I ended up with only two cups. So make sure you buy plenty of greens because they shrink so much and you don't want to find that you don't have enough for a recipe. I like to start with enough vegetables that I'll have four to six servings. That way I can enjoy it the first day, the second day, and maybe even the third day. It's a really great food to have on hand. Leftovers are so handy for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. The onions are nice and soft. I'm going to add the garlic now. You can add the garlic after the onions have softened or once the onions have cooked for a few minutes. These caramelized onions add so much flavor. Now we'll add our dry mustard. If you're using dried sage, thyme, marjoram, or any other herb, crumble it between your fingers to release more of the flavor and the fragrance. I'll add my black pepper, and then add a dash of water. Add it a couple of tablespoons at a time. For this recipe, you'll probably need about a quarter of a cup of water, stock, or broth. And now we're ready to add the greens. If possible, when you're cooking, always use filtered water rather than tap water. You'll have a better flavor and then you'll avoid the contaminants that are found in tap water. So I'm adding just a little bit more water to moisten the greens. You can turn the heat up just a little bit. And we're only going to cook the greens for another couple of minutes, just enough to barely warm them, or at least stir all the ingredients so the onions are evenly distributed. Typically this recipe will yield six one-cup servings. 
So you've got enough for two or three people to have two or three days in a row. Once the greens are cooked, you can taste them and then adjust the sea salt, tamari, or pepper to your liking if you want a little more of either one of those. We'll turn off the heat and they're ready to serve. If you have leftovers, store them in the refrigerator in a heat-proof Pyrex dish or a glass jar and you can take the leftovers out of the fridge 20 or 30 minutes before serving to let them come to room temperature. You don't absolutely have to heat them and in fact you'll preserve more of the flavor, the color, and the nutrients if you don't reheat the greens that are left over.